Special thanks to Qualmia. If you can't find a fault, make a fault. Then pretend it's their fault. Rusty Quill presents Stella Firma. Historical census data. Caution. High levels of file corruption. Only partial information recovered. Hmm. Not much about clones in here. Clones would not be counted in census data because... Yes, because clones aren't people. You wouldn't count hammers in a census. Thank you. Yes, I get it. I am trying to help you. Are you? Because Standard seems to think so. But you've also threatened me with death quite a bit too, so I'm, I'm getting really mixed signals here. Imogen, are you using me as part of a plan? Further census data recovered. Oh, bored. This is... Hmm. Okay, so the seed population that escaped from Earth on the original Stella Firma ship was 69,000. Nice. And that grew to about 7 million by about 100 years ago. But but the last 100 years, there were huge population crashes. Millions of people dropping off between census. And now there's, uh... Uh... Where is it? Um... 102,000. Not much bigger than it was 1,000 years ago. What happened? Warning. Consultant approaching. Uh, uh, okay, okay. David, David, have you got oh. a soft chair? Hmm? Oh, um... Oh. Uh, 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 sure, just start kicking panels. I'm sure one will pop out. Uh, 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 oh, there we go, there we go. Uh, that's, that's nice. That's nice. Trexel? Yes? Um, obviously I don't spend much time outside that isn't in a... Vent. No, you're not allowed. Um, do you think that Stella Firma is the right size for the number of people in Stella Firma? Do I think that Stella Firma is the right... I, I, I don't really know. They just sort of is. There are people. We know them. They live in places. There's large areas of the ship that they turn the power off to. I don't know what you want from me, David. There's just some people. Right. So, but it, it kind of seems to me like maybe the station oh, yes. was built for far, far, far... Like, millions of people, mm -hmm. and now there are only, well, you know, a, f a few left. I cannot wait for Trexel's insightful take on this topic. Well, I mean, David, in a very real sense, I don't know or care. But what I can tell you is that when I lived in my first out-of-parental-home home. You know, that exciting, heady time where you're out on your own with only a large stipend and all of your meals provided. And when I was there, I was put in a room that was two miles away from anyone else. So, you know, it's a roomy ship. Hmm. You look perplexed. You look perplexed, pensive, uh, pugnacious, uh, like a penguin, like a puppy, like a pog. Have you seen a pog? It's a little disc that uh, old Earth seemed to think was the most valuable currency alive. Before the trading card renaissance, also known as the Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemajikian gathering. Right. Um, yes, no, sorry. Yeah, no, no, no. Anyway, uh, you're looking quite, um, used to be on fire. Charred. Charred. Crispy. Um, well done. Singed. Singed. Oh, yeah. Well, there was a little... Now, you'll remember... You'll remember, David, because you were there, that there was a little fire that mm -hmm. I started at the Astral Bar. And I just, you know, it's something about me. I just, I just couldn't, couldn't leave anyone behind. So you, wait, so you saved the wait stuff? The wait stuff? No, the bottles, David. There were so oh. many delicious bottles full of uh, 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 tasty alcoholic unguents. And guess what they are? Highly flammable, David. So even, even avoiding the flames, a couple of things did explode in my arm. So a uh, bit charred, bit burnt. I've got some creams and salves. I have eaten most of the creams and salves, but some of them made it on my skin and they are soothing me. Well, at least your insides are very, um, well, they're not going to be burnt, I suppose. Other than by the caustic, non-potable liquids he insists on using in cocktails. No, just sort of lightly broiled. Hmm. hmm. Like, I brought my intestines to a light simmer. I'm assuming that's fine. I mean, I smell great. Delicious, even. 
Like a dumpster fire pot roast. Oh, um, thing is, I'm marinated. I'm pre-marinated, David. You know how you might pour, if you were an idiot, you might pour a bottle of whiskey over a condensed slurry cube to give it that sort of aromatic flavour before you held it over a Bunsen burner. Well, in my case, I'm just full of booze. Right. Sure. Anyway, should we? Uh, we we should we should we should do the brief, right? Probably. Okay, uh, right, yes, no, uh, something to take my mind off. Anyway, yes, okay, so, uh, here it is. Uh, right, so this is coming to us from, uh, Corthanos the Perplexed. Uh, pronouns Z here. Z is in external, seeking wisdom, and Z is writing to us from the Placators of Planetary Puzzles. And Z says, We are called upon to placate those whose planets puzzle them, and find ways of helping them learn to live with, and even love, their planet of residence. Normally, this is quite enjoyable, as we get to show people the hidden gems of their world and give them a new appreciation for all the things that surround them. However, we Whoa, have... what a twist! I thought Z was just saying, hey, I do this thing, it's nice, we're having fun. Anyway, everybody gets to go home and Trexel can start drinking again. No. Damn. Well, in that case, I don't think Z would have written to us, would Z? Well, I suppose not. If you want to apply logic to... Oh, David Seven, with his little logic hat on. Oh, this isn't right. That ain't right. Oh, however, comma, gotta put the comma in, haven't you? Haven't you? Or you get flunked from Mrs. Gilkin's class. You were flunked for that. And also for trapping another class in a time loop for either two days or 10,000 years, depending on who you ask. However... We have been less successful of late making this work for certain newish planet... Oh, I see what's coming. Some of which were produced by Stella Firma. Oh, this is me, isn't I'm it? I'm going to guess. I like to be involved. Well, and y- you know what? Some people might say, oh, no, my things have gone wrong again and people are cross. But I just... Uh, being in trouble is also a kind of having attention, so I'm fine with it. On you go. Yeah, On you go. Also, it's not, not new. Anyway, as uh, they are your planets, we thought that perhaps you would be able to tell us what aspects of your planets would perhaps placate people puzzled by them, both helping us to satisfy our mission statement and producing good press... For your own business. Now, luckily, David, you've stumbled upon a rich vein of delicious gold. Okay. I am known to some as the Puzzle Master. (gasps) Ooh, smoke, drifting smoke, and a, a shimmer here and there. Come, come into my cave of wonderment, for I am the Puzzle Master. Warning, mystery cave detected. Security steering clear. Okay, and what... What question have ye, supplicant? Uh, Genuflect to I, the puzzle master, and I shall solve them with my bendy brain. Curves, okay, uh, angles, you turn. Okay, okay, you're in bendy brain Um, So, what aspects of Stella Firma's planets would placate people puzzled by them? Two steps west and five steps east. Ow. Cover your face in active yeast. Bake it in an oven browned until you find what's underground. Puzzle Master! That is not a riddle. That is a crime against words. Okay, now did that did that mean anything or did you just make up something that sounded like a riddle? The astral map is long and hard, but you've eaten far too much chard. A rumbly tum rumbles rumbly hum, and you have the answer inside your bum. Puzzle Master! Okay, one of those one of those lines was just the word rumble in various ways. And are you just coming up with these on the fly or No, these are pieces of ancient wisdom passed from Bendy Brain to Angle Mind for generations. Do not defy our wisdom, Puzzle Master! It would be quite an achievement to defy wisdom that does not exist. Okay, uh, well, my final question is how do we do this in a way that both helps uh, the Pocations of Planetary Puzzles uh, to satisfy their mission statement and produce good press for Stella Firma? A planet's surface makes no sense. The people dying and yet, hence, a call goes out to the Placators of Puzzles. Ooh, they can't fail or they'll all be muzzled. Ask the master of puzzling time whose Uh intellect cross eons does shine. Uh How shall we defend these planetary shapes? Uh How will we explain your designatory japes? Uh Puzzle master. No, okay, hang on a minute. I asked for I asked for a solution and you just re-explained the problem but rhymed it. Answers are what we do seek. 
No time now yes. for us to be meek. We yes. must yell and shout with okay. voices loud yes. to get the answer and lift the shroud okay. on mysteries generations past. But yep. don't forget, you need your bus pass to talking. get on the bus of knowledge bound right. for a land with an intellectual hound. Puzzle dog. No, but you were just you just talked about the problem, not No, David, we need to ask the puzzle dog. Oh. Uh who's the puzzle Where is the puzzle dog? You don't dog? know. Sorry, sorry, David, sorry. Whoa, whoa, sorry whoa. David, you don't know who the puzzle dog is. Uh no. It's like it's like you've never been out of a few rooms, David. Yes. I'm a puzzle master. We all know that. The placators of planetary puzzles, they're puzzle masters too. But the true puzzle uh, uh, godhead as it were uh-huh. is the intergalactic puzzle dog right and how- they are a very large basset hound whose head is 3000 miles across their body the size of a regular basset hound right now the people of old earth didn't realize that basset hounds were quite as intelligent as they were but they were always pretty darn intelligent always solving riddles where's the kibble where shall i do a plop shall i bark yes no answer yes i can smell things real good with my brain nose all of these things they just didn't appreciate it and so when we we released um, certain dogs into space and when i say release certain dogs into space i do mean that one of the dog storing modules exploded guess who survived the the, the puzzle dog no Basset hounds in general. Oh. We were all so shocked. All these basset hounds all of a sudden had these helmets on. How is that? And anyway, since then, they've become more and more intelligent and combined into one central being, the puzzle dog. A shocking amount of that is true. Although I can confirm no doggos were harmed. Okay. And how do we contact the puzzle dog? It's an eight-week journey and it's illegal to go there. Okay. And we have about eight minutes. About eight minutes. I see the problem. Who could solve this problem? Perhaps some sort of... Puzzle master! The road is long, but time is short! Oh no, I forgot to pack my jorts! I'll make them from the jeans I have! Ooh, a stave! Do you need the lav? Go fast, go okay. quick before you travel! Because we're not stopping again! Okay. I'm not stopping at another services! Historical jort construction videos are available from the staff archives under code BDG270419. Okay, Trexel, I'm just going to... Puzzle Master! Let me just... I'm going to try and reframe the problem. Okay. All right. Corthinos has this problem. Puzzle Master. How do we help here? Okay. Okay, David. As a Puzzle Master, it is my duty to help. And so I will try my best... Do not enter another rhyme scheme long and rhyme scheme hard. Do you Uh, still have that bag of chard? Your rumbling tum has rumble bum. Bumble rumble, humble hum. Buzz buzz, click click, clang clang, ding dong. Trexel, these are just... Do not buy any relations a thong. It's weird, they don't like it. It makes Christmas awkward. Oh look, a bird. Its angle is squawkward. Failure to stick the landing detected. Security holding up three point A's across the board. Puzzle master. Right. Puzzle master. Mm, puzzle master. Okay. Trouble is, I'm not really getting any answers here. Just more sort of questions. And... The question is the answer, and the answer is the question. Think about it. Hang on a minute. Actually, yeah. What? Well, that, that's the thing. The placates of planetary puzzles. They're spending too much time actually trying to make sense of things instead of just confusing their clients until they assume that they're just too stupid to work out what the planetary puzzles are saying. And nobody wants to admit to being stupid, so they just say, oh, y- oh yeah, 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 no, yeah, I see now, I see now, oh, I see, well, we'll all go back now, because we all see, because we all get it, because we all, because we're smart, because we're like, because I get it, I get it personally, me, I'm the, the pl- yeah, okay, bye, bye, and then they walk backwards out of the door and they're sweating. Okay, all right, fine, no, that's great, so, so in, in, in which case, um, let's give Corthanos, right, let- yes. Let's give them uh, some some examples, right? So I, okay. I'm I'm going to come at you with okay. some planets. Is this role play? It is role play. But no, yeah, play. I'm still okay. explaining. Okay. But then we'll give them multiple now. ones. That so Corthanos can listen now. back to this, and this will give her some guidance. Okay. Okay. Right. Say the words. Role play. Let me 
Roleplay Holovision initiated. Hello. Oh, bored. Uh, what, what? 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 What is what? this grotesque homunculus creature you've become? Sort what? of crouching and waving your arms? Not well. I mean, it's just not disgusting, me. Disgusting, David. What? No, hang on a minute. I'm I'm one of the 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 what are they called? The you shouldn't touch that society. Oh, fine, I suppose so. I, mean, I, know, I know this is roleplay Holovision, but that's that's you're you're a gross actor, oh. a crackter. Right, uh. on you go, on you go, you hobgoblin. <sighs> Hello. Ugh. Yes. I've 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 got a planet from Stellar Firma. You smell. And uh, it's a big lava planet. Yeah. And uh, it killed all of us. Don't sit on my chairs. I'm so okay. Me. Don't don't worry. It's killed all of us, and you need to sort it out. What's wrong well, with Stellar Firma's rubbish planet? It's a great question, and the answer is this: a burning ball of lava fun. Don't go so fast. Hold up, Han. Put on your pants of chaffling heat. Do not allow the overcooking of wheat. Your buns have burnt. Your bread ruined. Oh, look, a pub. They do brewing. Get drunk on four and five and twenty. No, not twenty-five. Twenty's plenty. And if you seek the answers there, you'll find them dangling in a maiden's hair. You see? And uh, if you don't see, well, you're, a, you're, you're a stupid box. Oh. Oh, I well, guess. Oh. Hmm. Okay, I guess I'll put on my asbestos underwear and go to the pub to go and grab a lady's hair. Do not grab anyone's hair. Oh, no. Now I am rhyming. For you see, I really, really need to wee. Oh, yeah, no, that actually did work. Ooh. All right. Worked is definitely a relative term here. Go forth in puzzlement, no, for no, you have been Trexel, given the Trexel. blessing of the puzzle master. Okay, okay, fine. Oh, a box of gears and a box of joy, turning round to the puzzle boy. What's this here? It's a hidden number system. What's that there? It's a concealed piston. Open up mechanical box of dreams with the puzzle master. So was it? Wait, hang on a minute. Was that? Was that? No, a that's pus- just our national that's anthem. Just, okay. Oh, that's the. Puzzle Master's National Anthem. Okay. Well, t- look, let's just do one more. One more. So Corthanos has a bit more to go on. Okay, fine. Right. Off you go. Roleplay Holovision initiated. Hello. I have a planet that is quite puzzlesome as well. A mist descends... Oh, I haven't even explained on it ...on dappled veil. Wait, no, but you don't know... In coming but- to us, the question already contains Wait, your what? fail. Oh, what? The knife of blemishment stabs into your heart. Oh. Even before you have time to start, the very fact of your presence here tells me that your doom is near. Vacate the premises. Ah. Oh, wow. Too sweet. Or your head will touch your feet. Uh, folded oh. in a pretzel of death. Eat it now. Or uh. be bereft. What about am I eating the... Wait, if I... If Questions I, if, will cause more death! Oh! Oh. Um, uh, well, thank you very much. Goodbye! Okay, yeah, oh, that one. Just, just spooked him. Spooked yeah, you're him gonna right spook away. him. Spook him right up. Now, obviously, you need a lot of dry ice for this to work, but if, it's very easy to find. All right, so, Corthodos? You just heat up some ice, and it becomes dry ice. Dry ice. All right. Well, I think that's probably enough, isn't it? I don't know, David. If the answers fill your brain, is it time for us to explain that the end of session now begins? That's right. I've got... I'm very tired, David. I'm very tired. I've got so much wind. We are all of us very tired. Very tired. I think the burns are affecting me more than I thought. I, yeah, I try and push through them, but... Uh, oh, wait. So, one thing. Submitting. Uh, right, brief away. Um, oh. So, well, I mean, we, we were hitting time, so... Sure, sure. I just... Uh, I just started to think that maybe I should drink like, more liquids and less, you know, emulsions. You don't say. Y- yeah? Have you tried water? Water... Is that what they mix alcohol with to make drinks? Uh, sometimes. I don't know, David, it sounds suspicious, but I might try and find some because I just, I'm just, every time I try and blink, like the roughness of my eyeballs catches on the roughness of the inside of my eyelid. It's like two pieces of sandpaper. 
Hmm. Um, also, maybe maybe put the the salves and unguents on your skin instead of into your mouth. I try, David. I try, but somehow it's like I'm a snake and my jaw just unhinges and any anywhere I try and put it, I just find a mouth. Have you tried wrapping your mouth in vent tape so that you can't open it? Interesting. Take away the culprit. Yes. Cover the mouth. Yeah. You know what? Also cover the nostrils, because I can see myself pumping it up there, because uh, that uh, goes uh, to the same place. Trek, trek, so you need to breathe. The, the whole system doesn't work, David. If I've, if I've got a if I've got a stomach-bound orifice, I'm going to put it up it. Yikes. Okay, well, tell you what. Uh, you can cover your mouth and nose in vent tape, okay. poke some tiny little holes so the air gets through, but it's really difficult to get, you know, sort of Do you mean sloppy... in my cheeks? Just poke no. holes in my cheeks? No, in the in the in the tape. And do I do I jab holes in the tape whilst it's over my mouth and nose? Yes, but you do it carefully. Carefully. Yes. Okay. With, with needles. Well, luckily I've got a very steady hand. Hang on, what's this vibrating? Oh no, that's okay. Well, I'm sure it'll be fine. What? Well, t- tell you what. Tell you what. I've, 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 I think there's a. Hang on. Yeah. Okay. Look, I've got some vent tape here. Okay. Just, I'll do it for you, and then you can go away. <laughs> You're not getting me that easy. Fool me once by taping my mouth shut and me giving you a pin. Shame on me. Fool me twice by taping my nose shut and jabbing me with a pin. Shame on me. Shame. Shame on me. So much unending shame on me. Oh, uh, are you okay, Trax? So I don't should... think, no, I don't think that'll, give me, give me that, give me that. Okay, right, right, right. right I'll fine, do it fine. myself. Okay. I'll see you next time, David. Next time. Okay. I'll be full of water and there's nothing you can do about it. All right. Well, remember, hopefully, 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 Hodge will be back with some information tomorrow. So. Why? What? Oh, yes. The whole plan. Yes. You know what? I'm pretty impressed with me. I was convinced I would have told somebody about it, but it turns out, deep down, I don't care, so I keep forgetting. Bye, David. Bye, Bye, Trexel. (laughs) <sighs> How can the population be so reduced and yet he is still here? I believe it's known as survival of the thickest. Stella Firma is a podcast distributed by Rusty Quill Limited and licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Sharealike 4.0 International License. It was created by Tim Meredith and Ben Meredith and produced by Katie Seaton with executive producer Alexander J. Newell. In today's episode, Imogen was played by Imogen Harris. David Seven was played by Ben Meredith. Trexel Geistman was played by Tim Meredith. Editing was by Maddie Sell, with music by Samuel D.F. Jones and artwork by Annika Khan. Mastering by Jeffrey Nils Gardner. To subscribe, buy merchandise or join our Discord server, visit RustyQuill.com. Rate and review us online, tweet us at the Rusty Quill, join our Reddit community on r slash RustyQuill, visit us on Facebook or email us via mail at RustyQuill.com. May the board preserve and keep you. Hi everyone, Alex here. I'd just like to take a moment to thank some of our patrons. Nicole K, Michaela Popple, Rebecca Rutherford, Myra Morning, Free Snake Poems, Lind Burgett, Erica Eagles, Max, Lucy Jansen, Ray Morello, Amanda F. The war over pineapple on pizza is a distraction from the Elder Gods. Timon Tomato, Aruara N, Morgan, Nadim Cassander, Fiona Cartwright, Meg Petz, Local Dog Mom, Alana Haber, Emily Peterson, Sam Blackman, Blue Hatted. Sam Toby, Mandor Handhook Cardor, Lindsay Johnson, Marg McGuinness, Arthur Stern, Sam Vest, Jesse Pitts, Emily Apples, Maria Lund, Tim Conbart, Shell Stowell, From Glorious Jupiter, Indiana El Apayo, Cerulean Cheesecake, Eli Davis, Sophie Sloan, Laura, Aidan Parziani, Angela Spatz, Simon Panitpakti Jones, Ian Doherty, Amy Wayne, Braxton, Feather, Kira S. Stack. Thank you all. We really appreciate your support. If you'd like to join them, go to www.patreon.com forward slash rustyquill and take a look at our rewards.